Jason, uh, tell us about uh, the program at uh, Cal Poly, uh, the type of students that uh, the program produces and uh, where you see them fitting into the industry. Yeah, so Cal Poly graphic communication lends itself to so many different platforms and departments. Um, I mean, we started learning basic print techniques and now we're learning how to design based off those print techniques so you get the really full scope of the print and design tech, or technology, um, which is one of the biggest things I think that sets us apart from other departments um, like graphic or graphic design and stuff is that we have the full understanding of that process so we can really fit into any part of the industry. That's great and um, can you describe some of the programs that you have that are specific to um, areas in the industry where they would find jobs? Yeah so we have five concentrations. We have a design reproduction technology concentration which is what myself uh, I'm a part of and um, that one is the cross-section of technology and design where you really get that design oriented experience but there's also other ones like graphics for packaging um, pretty self-explanatory management which is run through our business department which is one of the top schools on the west coast and then we also have an ICS one which is in basically a build your own concentration so you have anything you could want um, I know one of them was museum curation which is super unique um, but there's been a ton of other ones um, and then there's also a UX UI which is obviously as we all know a growing industry, so they learn all the basic coding um, and all the new softwares that come into the market every year. Excellent, so it's not really just simply about print, it's about graphic communications itself. Yeah. Um, describe how the school is set up. I know that it's part of the California State University Systems. Um, describe uh, what it takes for a student to be able to get into the program, and if you know uh, what some of the associated costs that they would be experiencing. Yeah, so um, Cal Poly is one of the only Polytechnic State Universities, um, which is a learn by doing experience. That's one of their big philosophies. So we have a lot of um, hands-on experience that makes us different and set apart from some of the other universities that you could attend in California. Excellent. And um, how long has the program uh, been in existence? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I don't know that off the top of my head. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Um, what changes do you see coming into the program uh, that have been talked about as far as the technologies um, other than the programs that you have? Uh, where does the school see its, uh, its future changes coming in, the kind of things that are going to be covered? Yeah, so um, I mean with my company in specific, we're learning about taking um, different areas and expanding growth into different markets. Um, but we have a bunch of different technologies that we're expanding into. We got a brand new Xerox printer, a brand new, um, oh God, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but we have a bunch of different technology um, that's getting integrated into the department every year. And we have new professors that are kind of starting to take the reins a little bit more. Um, so you have new people with new uh, experience as well as new technology and the students get to experience that along with the professors. Well, you sound excited about the program. Yeah. Uh, I'm just curious, uh, one last question about it. Uh, what, is, um, what are your plans uh, for, for the future, um, and what do you expect to get out of this particular show that you're at with the EFI Connect? Yeah, that's a really great question. Um, there's so many opportunities to take advantage of, and it's really hard to pick just one. Um, I'm opening myself up to a lot of different opportunities, because especially coming out of COVID, you never know what to expect. I watched a lot of my friends have really disappointing um, job offers coming out of COVID because there wasn't very many opportunities. So I want to leave myself open to a lot of opportunities to have. And I think EFI is a great place to connect with a lot of the professionals in the industry and start making those connections and uh, looking for those opportunities. Okay, so it's a little bit of a job search and a little bit of an education. Yeah. Jason, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you so much.